Good afternoon, everybody. This is Greg with the Dice Must Flow, and I'm back today. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how to play 18xx Rails games uh, over the internet or or using the computer. And uh, there's some software out there that I'm not sure everybody knows about, and so I wanted to talk about it today. You can see up on my screen, I've got the uh, Rails SourceForge page. There's some software that's out there that lets you uh, run these games. Now you can just uh, Google Rails 18xx and find it and go to here and it'll take you to the SourceForge page. Now there's a, a release 2.0, release candidate 3 that you can get, but the basic, the latest stable version that I know of uh, is Rails 192. So we can click that and it'll take us to the SourceForge page. Now we want to make sure that we don't get the latest version here because otherwise that's going to get the 2.1 beta. Um, and so I just download the Rails 1992 zip file and I've had that actually done already. So I have that downloaded as the Rails 192 zip. Now if you're using Windows um, you can actually go into there and then copy this directory and then you can paste it to your desktop. Okay so we have this in our desktop and then I've opened that file up in our desktop and there's this Rails bat file. So I'm going to run the Rails bat file and I'm going to copy this over to the directory. So it runs and you can see now you do need to have Java installed on your machine. Uh, I won't go through how to do that. I think that uh, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory for people that uh, can look that up. And so uh, as you go through here, you can see that there are a bunch of different games, 1830, 1835, 51, 56, 1880, 1889, and some of the smaller, Tennessee and, and other things. And then, so you can just pick uh, who's going to play and uh, go ahead and then uh, set up a, ga a new game. So I will look at set up, uh, I'll just put a human for play, name A, a human name B, and a human name C to play. And we'll go ahead and play 1856, which I believe is the Canada version. And then we'll click New Game. And I will bring some pieces over and we can talk about everything that's in here. So you can see there's a nice stock chart. A nice graphical version of the, the map. You can see uh, player A has priority, player B, player C. Those, if those are, we'd have real names. You can see the different companies. Now in this game, uh, 1856 I believe, yeah, the Canada, you have um, each of these companies uh, prioritize, uh, they get their mo monetized with their money uh, when they, with less than uh, uh, three, I guess three shares is when they monetize, but they don't get all their full money until a different phase or or when they go, and that's what this is showing here, that like the GT starts at Oshawa, and when it gets to Orangeville, that's its destination, and then it fully capitalizes that money. The LPS is over here. Um, it starts at Mauligan, anyway, and goes to uh, St. Thomas. And when it gets there, it fully capitalizes. So uh, this thing first takes you through uh, uh, the rounds where uh, you, you're going to bid on privates. And you can have each person say that they're going to bid on this. And you can see that like the W and SR, uh, if player A would bid, he put the bid and you can see that, that it logs that. The shipping company, if player B wanted to bid on the shipping company, he would put a bid there. Um, and uh, if player C just said, I wanted to buy the, the first one. He could just buy it, okay? And then that means in this game, the anybody who had a bid there is going to go ahead and get that second company. And then player A is up to bid on something or pass. Uh, in this game, if everybody passes, then a short OR is held and only the sold privates pay out. All right, I'm back to where we're going to load a save game. And uh, this is one where we, we basically just sort of ended. But I did want to use this to show some of the features of the game. Um, 
So you can see this is uh, the 1856 and we got to the end uh, and I was playing and so you can see that um, that in this game uh, it, it will go ahead and calculate uh, the things for you, the, your route for you, the best route and the best money. And it will go ahead and tell you like the LPS at this point could run for 300. And so, um, but what you can do is LPS, for example, could go ahead and lay a tile. Uh, I'm not sure that we have a tile that it could lay. Probably a bad example. Um, but LPS could go ahead and lay a tile here. And so you pick the tile that you want to lay. And then you lay the tile. And then whether you want to have a token or not, it would tell you. And then it's going to go through that. And then you would do set revenue. And you can then either pay out or withhold. And uh, if you pay out, it'll show you that. And your stock chart options show the stock market. You can see that LPS then moved up to uh, the 450 from 425. And so, like I said, this was an end game that I have saved. Um, it would be done. And. Um, just kind of go through here and see these guys set revenue payout and you can see actually um, uh, these guys were kind of early so we did want to kind of get to where we have a, um, a train that's uh yeah so the, the uh, diesels in this one you can see that the, the WR has a diesel in this game and the diesels can run all of this track and so it actually goes through and shows you all the stops that are the best stops and how much it's going to pay which is uh pretty nice when you're getting into the 18xx where you get these long runs and trying to add up everything every turn um and so that's pretty cool and, and then you can see that so if you if you have a problem you can always do the undo uh and you work your way backwards and so each of these um rounds are, are handled uh, by the computer uh, setting in there so it handles like when the, the trains rust um, we can uh, um, when a train would rust then it'll automatically remove trains when you move into uh, different areas of the game it'll change your stock limit it'll change your um, amount of uh, money in the treasury when you buy stock for the company and it goes into the treasury when it runs and pays out it pays to people and pays to the companies depending and so all this is very nice and so uh, it's really pretty cool and um, I'm going to try and load a, a different game here maybe a little bit earlier on So yeah, I had some I had some saved files for a lot earlier, and um, you can see that I have uh, uh, we have some of these stock rounds uh, and SR for stock round and OR for operating round. And what we did what we did is we would actually create the save game and then uh, we created a um, we created a, a a Dropbox that we would store the save games at. And then we would move the save file to the Dropbox and then text the other player, hey, it's up to your turn. So you can see up in this one here that it's up to LPS, which was my turn, to operate. So, um, and you can see that at this point LPS owned the tunnel company. But it could do, it could, and it only has, uh, um, it, it had $70. And... So uh, you can look at, you know, playing the, the tile that you want to play. You can lay the tile um, uh, and then not lay a token and then set revenue 
payout. You could buy a train, and here it's going to check. You're going to choose how you're going to buy the train. So you can buy it from a different railroad. Uh, this company doesn't have enough money to buy a train from uh, the market at this point. So it would cancel, and you would have to hit done. And so then the WR would be operating, and they're they're here, and they have two two trains. They they have a a, a, two, a two and a two. And you can see that the GW has a two and a three, and the GT has a two and a two. So it actually calculates these two trains. And so then it's the WR's turn to lay a tile, so it might lay uh, this one, for example, and you would hit click again to rotate, and then you would lay tile, uh, not lay a token, set revenue. And you can see that it's going to pay out. It's going to get that revenue. And um, I was going to show the stock market. You can see as these are paying out, they're starting to move over. And so that's uh, that's pretty much the game. Like I said, there's um, a bunch of games that you can uh, you you have playing. Uh, there are according to the web page. We're going to go back. 1830, 18 Kansas, 1889, 56 Alabama, 51, 18 EU. Tennessee, Georgia, 1835, 1880, which is China, and 18 NL, I believe that's the Netherlands. And so uh, what we did, like I said, was we set up a, a, a Dropbox. And so um, basically we had Dropbox where we saved the Dropbox save game. We just created a folder for them. Uh, and then... Uh, like our 1856 game here were the things and like so when it was my turn uh, basically we saved the game as drag underscore the railroad that was going to run underscore operating around 9.3 or uh, SR for the stock round uh, if we were in the stock rounds and so we would just save it out to the Dropbox and then tell people hey it's your turn they can then so, so they just sort of run at hot seat uh, and then you basically download that that guy from Dropbox, um, in, and then uh, load your game up, and, and you're ready to go. So that was kind of it. I wanted to kind of go over that today. I thought that uh, with uh, what's going on, a lot of people are uh, kind of, uh, you know, stuck at home. And we were doing a little bit of this to try and uh, just kind of keep the gaming bug going while we were playing. Uh, and uh, so definitely something that if you like 18xx you want to check this out so that's it for today and uh, we will talk to you later thanks and have a good day